Hey guys, it's Lindsay and today I have a little product review for you. It's something that I think you're going to really be interested in. Um, it is the Exfoliating Foot Mask and this one is by a company called Botanical Choice. Um, now you might have heard of these exfoliating foot masks um, but under a company name called Baby Feet. I think that's like the most popular one. Those run like 25 bucks for one pair, whereas I got three of these for $12 on Amazon. And I will link them down below so you can check these ones out for yourself as well. Um, I was super, super impressed with these. They really, really worked. Um, so you don't have to spend 25 bucks on the baby feet ones, you can just get these. And I obviously have nothing to compare them to. This is the only one that I've used, but I was really, really impressed. Um, now, if you are not familiar with what an exfoliating foot mask is, Basically, it's two little booties, like kind of like tablecloth material, plastic. Um, you put them on your feet and you wait for an hour, hour and a half. And when you're wearing them, you want to make sure that your feet are firmly placed on the ground. So you don't prop your feet up or anything. So just sit, you know, nice and still on the couch with your feet on the ground for an hour. Not the most comfortable, but then you go and you wash, uh, you take them off, you wash your feet, and it looks like nothing has happened. Your feet aren't ex exceptionally exfoliated, they're not moisturized, nothing. But that's okay. Give it three or four days and your feet will start to look like the most disgusting things you've probably ever seen in your life. I'm not joking. Um, so here, let me show you a picture. Warning, this is kind of graphic. It's just the bottom of my foot, but if you're kind of grossed out by that kind of thing, feel free to fast forward. Um, it's, this is a picture of the bottom of my foot on like day three of peeling. So here you go. So there is a picture of the bottom of my foot. I know it's disgusting, but after about seven days of that, um, I now have nice, beautiful, soft, baby-like feet. So basically what these things do is just get rid of all the nasty, gross, old skin that you've been harboring all winter. So now let me show you a picture of what my foot looks like today. So as you can see, so much better. The whole process took about two weeks, maybe 12, 11, 12 days. So definitely plan ahead, plan to wear socks all the time for at least a week. And um, yeah, I'm really, really impressed. My feet are nice and soft and smooth. Um, one thing I should tell you is the ones that I have are for regular sized feet, whatever that means, it says it right here on the label. Um, and basically, or let me tell you, I wear like a size nine and a half, ten. 10. Uh, I have pretty huge feet, especially for my height. I'm only 5'5". Five, five. Um, but I definitely think that my feet were as big as you can go. Um, so if you have like size 10 to 10 and a half, if that's kind of where you're at, um, or larger, 11, 12, whatever it might be, these particular ones are not going to fit you, I don't think. Unfortunately, I'm really sorry. I wish these would be kind of more universal, but they're not. So, but if you've got like a size 10 uh, or below, you should be fine wearing these. But my feet definitely were like right at the edge of how big uh, of a foot that would fit in there. Um, actually, when I was walking from my couch to my bathroom to wash them off, um, one of them poked a hole. So I was dripping liquid like all along my house to get to the bathroom. Not that big of a deal, but just to tell you that really they're very, very fragile and you don't want to stuff a foot in there that's bigger because they will break. So if you guys have any other questions about these exfoliating foot masks, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, the Most of the ingredients, or pretty much all of the ingredients, are just natural. There's nothing really super yucky in here. Um, there's a lot of fruit extracts and stuff like that. Um, I'm sure the Amazon link has a link uh, or a list of all the ingredients. So you can check that out too in case there's anything you might be allergic to in here. Um, but other than that, let me know if you've tried these as well as I have hair all over my mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> If you've tried these, let me know. I'd love to hear your experience and see if you've tried different brands and which ones worked best for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me those as well. I will try to get back to you and let you know. But overall, like I said, I was super, super impressed with these. It might be, depending on where you are in the world, a little bit late in the season to um, do these. Um, you know, if you want to start wearing sandals or flip-flops now, because like I said, it takes about two weeks. Um, so you want to, at least for a week of that, where your feet are really kind of gross and yucky, you're going to want to keep socks on them. But keep these in mind um, for later in the fall, like September, October, and then you can get your feet nice and 
smooth and soft at that time so um yeah but if you like live in the southern hemisphere right now is probably a perfect time for you to do it because i think you're just going into um fall right now right i think so or you just started fall um so <clears throat> If you guys ever had Vermentino wine, I think that's how you say it. I'm not too impressed. It's really watery. At least this particular one is. I don't think I'd get it again. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any comments or questions down below. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!